So I'm building this YouTube studio and this is my current desk setup. Not bad, but I've seen a lot of people take their M1 Macs and put them underneath their desk. Can we do it with a Mac Studio? Let's find out. I feel like my studio uh, office here is coming along. Um, it's still in the process of being built. And when I got the Apple Studio, I was thinking, okay, I, I mean, I like it. It has to sit off onto the side because I, if I put it in the center, it just feels like it's just taking up too much space. So I wondered, could I put it under my desk? Because I've seen a lot of people with their M1 minis go ahead and mount that underneath their desk. And I got it. There's a, there's like specifically mounts for that. And there isn't one for the Mac Studio. And why would there be? Because it's a brand new product. To figure this out, first I had to do some measurements. The Mac Studio is eight inches wide by four inches tall. At that point, it just concluded to me going to Amazon and trying to find an under desk mounted basket that will hold those dimensions. Well, I found one. It's this Yaji undermount desk tray. Um, it comes with two of them, but it's nine by nine by four and a half. So this should do it. We just gotta give it a shot. You gotta shut everything down. If not, it's gonna be a hot mess. Welcome to the underside of my desk where I have not done the cable management yet, but I will get to it once we get all this figured out. I have the tray, the tray is plastic and it can hold up to 11 pounds. It has these uh, uh, tape on it. It'll hold up to 11 pounds and the Mac Studio only weighs like six. I, I didn't get the Ultra, I just have the, the Mac Studio. So this will hold 11 pounds with just the tape, but it does have spots where you can screw it in. I'll be screwing it in because I don't, I'm not trusting that kind of money on, uh, uh, on two-sided tape. And then it has this tray, you slide it in there, and boom, it should work. And it has a, it has a thing where that slides out, but it has like a stopper in there. In the top, you gotta, I'm sure we'll have to, there'll be a way to tell us to put it on. So, I think that's how it is right there. Oh yeah, and then we put the stopper in. I see it. Okay, so boom, there it is. And then if you take the, I will show you how it just fits. Boom, it fits right in there. Let's take a look. Uh, okay. As you can see, we're going to have to do some notching out to make sure all the peripherals fit in the back end. But this thing's plastic, so it's not a problem. And there's two, so if you mess one up, you can do it to the other one. We're going to get that knocked out. We put this on here. And like, boom. That's where it would go. And look, you still have access to your USB-C ports and your SD card slot. Kind of excited. Hopefully this works out, let's see. Have you ever seen a garage so messy? Man, I really need to clean this out, but I know I have a Dremel somewhere. There it is. It's not pretty, but it'll work. How far forward do we want to go? I mean, this thing, It'll hold 11 pounds with just the stickers, and then if you screw it in, it'll hold 22 pounds. Uh, the, the Mac Studio is six pounds. If you have the Ultra, it's right at eight. Either way, it's supposed to hold it, but we all know with that kind of money, you might as well just, I don't know, we can right here. Uh, let's see if that's level. Come here to here. It's like six and a quarter. Here to here. Ooh, six and a quarter. Look at that. <laughs> yes. I think I'm the first one to do this. 
I'm really happy with this setup. <laughs> I mean, I really am. I'm glad I did it. Now, if you want to do it too, I'm going to leave a link uh, down in the description that will lead you to that, uh, that, that product shelf so you can find it very easy. And also, if you found any value from this, go ahead and like and subscribe. And I'll be doing other things like that to improve this, uh, to improve this studio. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.